like lifestyle factor wise, all the things that you would do to prevent cancer. Like I do those things, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, I don't smoke. I work out. I get plenty of rest. I drink lots of water. I don't over consume alcohol. I'm a vegetarian. I mean, like, you know, I'm a very, very low risk for getting cancer because of lifestyle things. So I have really chosen to not dwell on that on why or where or how or Can't. it's just happened and I was one of the unlucky ones. Yeah, it just shows that life happens to all of us and you can't choose sometimes the things that happen to us. All we can do is choose how we react to them. How you respond. How yeah. do we respond? And so Chrissy and I, after a couple days of heavy crying, <laughs> <laughs> we decided that it was best to approach this from um, positivity the best we could and try to hopefully continue to live our lives and to enjoy each moment. Uh, we owe it to ourselves, we owe it to our kids, we owe it to our friends to not just sit in the corner and cry for however much time we have left together. We owe it to ourselves to try to make the most of every moment together from here on out. You know, at 43, I think it'd be reasonable, you know, Two months ago, I would have thought I had 30 years. So if you have 30 years to live your life, what are you going to do with your 30 years? You have plenty of time. When you have three. When you have three. You Gotta need to smash in. it all in. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, if I go, I, mean, I, want, I want all the minutes. If he might go pick up my son from wrestling practice. I'll go with you. Like, would I normally go with him to pick up my son on this errand? No. But, like, I want to spend all those minutes with him. All of them. Mm -hmm.